welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. I want to start off this video first with saying thank you to Typology for sponsoring this particular video. You guys, y'all know how picky I am with my sponsors. I have been trying this stuff out since Halloween. And I remember that clearly because I chose to wear a very bright pink lip on Halloween. And when I went to melt off my makeup at the end of the day, I was like, oh, is today really a good day to start messing with my skin? Well, it really was. And since then, I have been using their products so I can actually vouch for them myself. And I'm so excited to bring you a special promotion that they have here exclusively for just you guys. Let's get into talking about typology. I wanted to include them in this themed video specifically because there are a few product standouts that I'm like, yes, definitely favorites. So put them on your list, put them on your shopping list. If you guys are unfamiliar with Typology, they are such a cool brand because they completely demystify skincare. It's one of those brands that allows everyone to play in the sandbox. And this is what I'm getting at. With Typology, if you don't have time to figure out what skincare routine to do, they play with you. If you don't know anything about skincare or don't have the time to figure it out, or you just want to be told this is what you have to do, they play with you. If you are someone that is very eco-conscious, vegan, uh, cruelty-free, like that is a big deal for you, your carbon footprint in this earth, they play with you. If you are someone that loves premium ingredients and you're like, you know, my stuff needs to be at a certain level, like high quality premium ingredients, it's gonna play with you. And lastly, if you are someone that lives just by aesthetics, you know, like how things look, uh, it's gonna play with you because it's one of those brands that is so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> you know what I learned too is I use way too much product or I was, and now with the type of formula that they have in my prescription in particular, I was like, oh, I, I really wasn't supposed to be using that much stuff, thank you. So see, you learn something new every day. So with Typology, they have a free four minute quiz that you take, and this is gonna come in handy because if you're like, I don't even know where to get started, you go on their website, and I'll make sure to leave all this information down below for you guys. You go on their website, you take a skin diagnostic test. It is absolutely free, like there's no commitment. You don't have to do anything to get your results. And you find out what your prescription is. Yeah, that's what it's called. Like you get a prescription, which I think is kind of cool. I am DE and apparently there's only like 5% of people that have taken this quiz that are DE. Discrete exposed normal production. That's what DE stands for. And my particular concerns were wrinkles, fine lines, eye bags, dark circles, and dullness. And it was like, I got you girl, here's your prescription. So I was like, yeah, adds to cart. After getting my prescription, like, and just getting started with it, I fell in love with the brand so much that I placed two follow-up orders. Yeah, so we're just gonna, we're just, you wanna just talk about it? As I talk about the products, I'm also gonna insert some footage of me actually using the products. I wanted to look cute for you guys. You know, like I know it's skincare, and I know you see my naked face, but sometimes I just, I just I just want to look cute for you guys. This is one product that when they suggested it, I was like, like what a, what a, I've never heard of this. So this is basically a liquid depuffer. It's like a magical depuffer. The packaging is so cute. Everything is recyclable. Everything is eco-friendly. It is so awesome. You basically soak a cotton pad or even if you use those reusable like bamboo pads like that I have and you put it on your eyes and it instantly just like, just kind of takes away that puffiness. Like your girl's a fan of salt and salt is not a fan of me. So this is the first step that I use in the morning. And then I follow up with all of this other stuff. And a lot of this stuff is optional and that's the beauty of it. It kind of walks you through it. It holds your hand. It's simple skincare and it's catered right directly perfectly for you. So I don't use all of these products all the time. It really just depends. So this was another product that I was like, like what is this? You know, it is a, it's like a magical product 
that is completely plant derived. I think it has like six plant extracts and you add a couple drops to your skin and it instantly makes you look glowing and radiant as if you had healthy tanned skin. It is awesome. It's not permanent. It absorbs. I mean, it looks, you know, because of the color, you're like, oh my God. Trust me when I say it's almost as if maybe you're not a makeup girl and you don't want to use a glowing or illuminating primer. This would be like your natural route of that. So really love that, but I, I don't use it all the time. And then two other products. These are both serums. You got a serum for your eye contours because, you know, you know the battle, you know the battle, you know the backstory, you know our nickname, like I got the dark circles. So we have a eye contour serum, and then I also have my face serum, which I use day and night. So again, look at the packaging, like the branding is so beautiful. Do you see that? So pretty, and it's so nice like to see how much product I have left, to know that I'm in control, like it's not a mysterious, like. I don't know what's in there pump you know what i'm saying so like i totally see this is the eye one so you could tell i mean you need like a few little drops and then the face serum that i i use i use her a lot and then two products to like kind of wrap up my routine depending on what i'm doing is the retinol moisturizer I, it recommended this for me. I am not very informed when it comes to retinol and as much as anti-aging I want to incorporate into my routine, I don't know how. So Typology kind of took that mystery away from me. And I've also been using their sunscreen, which you guys know, it do doesn't matter. Use sunscreen, okay? Even if it's not Typology, get yourself a good sunscreen because it shows and it's going to show up soon and it's just going to creep up on you. So on the tops of your hands, down to your neck, your decollete, like very important. So loving their sunscreen. And then at night, we get to keep it simple. That's when you actually get to wash your face. They recommended this cleanser. This is the only cleanser that they have. So let me show you guys. Do you see the, the labeling on the packaging? It's so beautiful, it's so simple. I used to think that I was not a face oil girl. Uh, maybe I had tried the wrong ones. Maybe I didn't like the scent of others. Maybe I wasn't doing it right. But when I tell you that I got this nighttime face oil from Typology and I was like, seriously, I have been a nighttime face oil girl. It's just so soothing and calming and hydrating. And it doesn't feel like you put grease on your face like that is so important i know i need humectant products on my skin i know that i'm fighting signs of aging i know that my day shows up on my face and i also know that i don't like it to feel like i'm spackling it on with grease or anything oily it feels like an oil but it also feels beneficial it feels like it's working and you wake up in the morning and your face just feels so good and so soft and you go right back into your routine it is so easy you guys that's like the best i guess metaphor that i could give you guys is is with typology like they let anyone play in their sandbox so if you are really busy you know your mom you don't have time for a complex heavy routine and you just want to be told do this Take the quiz and get your prescription. If you're someone that's like, you know what? I need to make sure I know what ingredients are in my products. I want it to be clear, concise, precise, easy, and just at my door, uh, that's for you. If you're someone that really wants those high quality ingredients in your products, it's totally for you. And if you are someone that, like I said, you know, eco-conscious, you're, you're self-aware of your carbon footprint, you worry about those things. I mean, it comes in packaging that's completely recyclable. The way that they send it to your home is recyclable. The way that they have reused certain materials in their packaging. I mean, even the thought behind the products are so that they use less packaging. The majority of your items don't even come in a box because of the way that the packaging is done or the shape of the bottles. It doesn't require it and it arrives at your doorstep easy peasy. You guys, I didn't know I was gonna place follow-up orders. Like this is the person that I've become. And you know what's really important to, to share too is oftentimes when you're dabbling into new skincare, are they gonna play nicely with your primer? Are they gonna play nicely with your concealer or your sunscreen or your foundation? 
they have not put up a fight with any of my loves, any of the products that I love. So it's kind of exciting, kind of a relief. Before I get into the face scrub, the promo in this video is specifically for this face scrub. Please take my word on it. It's going to knock your socks off. It is such a unique scrub. I've never tried anything like this. So this is like a three in one scrub. There will be a link in the description box below. If you do your free diagnostic test and something ends up catching your eye, if you spend $30 or more, you will get a free full size of the rose hip face scrub. If you spend $60 or more, you get it for free and free shipping. Just wanted to, before you get distracted, this face scrub is so unique because it feels like a face scrub, but as you're using it, it is super gentle. And when you rinse it off, your face feels hydrated. I've never had that experience with a face scrub before where it feels like I put on a moisturizer, but my face feels clean and super soft. So I use mine one to two times a week, especially in the winter because my face likes to get real flaky and I have been loving it. It is so convenient to just have to use it one or two times a week. You know, so one of those things where you're like, oh, I don't have to add a an extra daily step to my routine. But when you use it, you're like, wait a minute, what is going on here? What is, it's super unique. So it's a rose hip face scrub. It is really awesome. So if you guys do the test, you spend $30 or more, you will get a full size of this for free. So all of the information on typology will be listed in the description box of this video. And I will make sure to list my specific prescription and the products that were suggested to me. Even if you have a skincare routine right now that you already love, it would just be nice to take the quiz and really find out what your classification in terms of skin is and what your focus should be. So like I complained about my puffy or dark under eyes and that was a big focus of the skincare that was recommended to me. I really, really like that. So consider this your gentle nudge to go take that quiz and join me in Typology Sandbox. As per usual, I make things weird. And so let's move on to our other favorites. I'm pretty sure you're staring at my nails. This whole video, you've probably been looking at my nails. It's been a hot minute that I get excited about nail polish, like a very hot minute. When I saw this color story on Lights Lacquer, I was like, I need to have it. So I think it's called Kathleen's Diner and I, I broke it. I got the entire collection. It was like their daily special and there's a lot of influencers that have promo codes so you can get the discount on top of the sale price. I got all three and this is almost like a one coat and done type formula. It has that flat brush. I love how sleek the packaging is. It reminds me of, oh my gosh, what was that brand? They're not around anymore. It was one of my favorite brands. They have the similar shape pop, the pop, Beauty used to have nail lacquers and they had this similar bottle and it's just so handy and convenient to use. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. This perfume. Look at, I got it um, in, when Sephora had their sale. When Sephora had their sale and they released their holiday gift sets, I got the Big Daddy with the voucher that came in my clean perfume set. This isn't a scent that I gravitate towards. Like this doesn't smell like fabric softener. It doesn't smell citrusy. It doesn't smell fresh. It doesn't smell uh, coconutty or summer or sunscreen. You guys know that's my, like my scent family. It doesn't smell like that. In fact, this is one of those perfumes that smells different on every single person based on their pH. I was lucky enough to actually like how it smells because usually with those pH perfumes, I, I don't smell nice. And every time that I wear missing person from Fleur, I get stopped and ask what my perfume is. And of course I overshare and I airdrop them a link and I'm like, you know, I, I make a friend. <laughs> because that's who I am as a person. I'm waiting for Sephora to have another sale because I need to replenish it. I am so in love with it, you guys. I'll make sure to link it down below. It is a clean perfume. It's really hard to find a clean perfume. I don't just buy clean perfumes, let's be honest. I buy whatever I like, but it's kind of a nice plus. You know what else is a nice plus? I placed an order for the INH or insert name here, hair serum when it launched. 
the day that it launched, I bought that. I bought the No Fly Zone Regular Hold, and I got the Quick Slick. I got two, the regular one and the Hello Kitty one, because Hello Kitty. You guys can't tell, but there's a bunch of Hello Kitties behind me right now. So these product standouts, I have a ton of breakage, a ton, because I manhandle my hair. And a lot of people say that a hack you can do is clear mascara. But clear mascara makes your hair crunchy. So, oh my gosh, I'm in reverse. So let me get, let me get a mirror here. See if I can give you guys a little, a little demonstration. This magical product does not make your hair crunchy. It doesn't make it greasy, and if you are not a naturally like straight hair person, it doesn't wet it and make it curly. It is so magical. I feel almost like it's a maybe like a mask or a conditioner. It smells amazing. I have one in my purse, and then I have one here for when I'm getting ready. Here, like here slash my, my bathroom, depending on where I'm getting ready. It is so good. So good, you guys. Highly recommend, no matter what your hair texture is, you need this, and you need it in your purse. The other product standout for me, I did not think I was gonna like this. I grew up with very hard Aquanet, super crunchy, moussey ramen hair or a slick back shiny ponytail. And as I got older, I realized that's not a look for me. So I've been struggling finding a product where I can do a very couture slick back ponytail without triggering my memories of having a crunchy like helmet head that's like hella shiny. The No Fly Zone, they, it comes in two different, um, two different res resistances, holds, two different holds. I don't know why I overcomplicate my life. This is who I am as a person. So it comes in two different holds. I did just the regular hold. It gives you the most beautiful ponytails and all of this breakage that psh, comes out when I brush my hair and make it slick it just kind of it like you know what if it's like it's like a grandma hug it's like a pomade it's not heavy it's not white and flaky and crusty it doesn't smell like your childhood and it feels like it's just hugging your hair back and it puts your hair exactly where you want it. Does it make it crunchy? And it's not a product that builds up on your scalp or your hair. It is so good. So if you know what I'm talking about, the slick back sexy pony, but you just can't pull it off, you know? Maybe we haven't been using the right products because ever since discovering the insert name here, Pomade, oh my gosh. It is my best friend. You know what else is my best friend? This. Oh, and you know what? It also comes in scents. I think it did apple, peach, it's a, a few scents. So does it matter? Not really. Do you put on so much where you smell it? Not really. But if it adds to your emotional experience, why not? You know what I mean? All right. More stuff about hair. You guys heard me talk about this in my empties. I have become a total convert of Unite of their sprays, of their shine spray, of their shampoos. Like I'm, I'm in love. I have completely fallen in love with the brand and they have not disappointed me once. I was always a fan of the seven seconds detangler spray. I had four bottles of it in my empties. I don't even talk about that because you already know how I feel about it. But what you don't know is the Boing leave in conditioner. If you have curls, but you have fine hair, you know that any product that you put in your hair is gonna make it look like ramen noodles. This does not. It is brilliant. I don't know what's in it that makes it so good, but if you have curls, I have naturally curly, wavy hair. I can't put anything in it to make it look nice, and I just have to pray when I wanna leave my hair curly that it's gonna actually look nice. Not. I haven't had to, I mean, I still pray, but I haven't had to do that since discovering this product and it was totally an impulse buy. Zero regrets, you guys, zero. Remember when I asked you guys if you recommended a shine spray? I was like, why don't I look on Unite's website? Like, why didn't I start there first? I like wandered the aisles of Ulta, totally lost, like a like a rescue dog, and I'm like, oh no, uh, shine spray's so overwhelmed, so flooded, like I have thin hair, quick look up a review. Now look up another review. Oh, ask on Instagram. And it was like, 
Okay, this is very, this is very hard. Why didn't I think about that? Okay, so good. A little bit goes a long way. It kind of reminds me of the Kenra Shine Spray, but the scent on the, well, the Kenra one smells really good too. The scent on this one matches the other Unite products that I use. So I just kind of feel like I'm layering the stank, you know, the, the good, the good stank. Okay, anyway, I'll make sure to link those, like I said, down below. And then a bunch of makeup. Yes, yes, we're taking it back, way back to actual makeup. Old school YouTube style, we're your favorites. We're all beauty favorites. This is where we're at right now. All of my favorites have been beauty favorites. So I'm not gonna talk too much about Rare Beauty because I've talked about it before. The cream blushes from Rare Beauty will 100% change your life. Love them, so happy with them. You don't even have to set them. I'm wearing the, the blush today and I don't, I don't set it. I love it, it wears gracefully, it's so nice. I can't say it's long wearing because I, I don't have that need so I haven't done that research, but they are lovely. I have this one, Nearly Natural, and then the peach one. That one's a little intense and I don't have a light hand. I wanted to talk about this one because it definitely is a favorite, but the hype around it I feel is like a little bit much. So the Rare Beauty highlighters launched. There are three or four different shades. They sold out over and over and over and over again. The minute they launched, they sold out on the website, on Selena's website and all the websites. I mean, everyone was like, it was like toilet paper three years ago. You know what I'm saying? And so obviously I got curious because your girl likes to sparkle like a unicorn. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing Icon, Iconic London, so a different brand. It's a liquid illuminator. It's good, but it's definitely not anything unique, not anything unseen, not anything, it's not a pioneer product. I actually bought it because I thought it was a cream product and it's not, it might be a really good eyeshadow too. <laughs> but as much as I love it and it is a favorite, I'm, I'm relieving you of the pressure to buy it because it is a really good highlighter, but it is nothing unique or special. The color isn't anything unique. The, it's not any, let me show you. I mean, it kind of reminds me of, what was that highlighter from MAC that again caused like fury on everyone and it kept selling? It's kind of like that, that's what it reminds me of. It's very natural, but you could layer it on like me and make it look not natural. Listen, if I'm wearing makeup, I want it to look like I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> If you like it, if it's on your wish list, if you're a fan of highlighters, definitely get it. But if you've been feeling the pressure about it, I release you from the pressure because it's good. It's just not life changing. Okay. So sorry guys. I don't know. Maybe it was one of those things where like we were so overstimulated with makeup, we needed something, you know, and, and we, we directed our energy into rare beauty. Hey, listen, if we're going to send our energy to a really great brand that isn't oversaturating the market, that isn't launching collections every two minutes, then yes, let's send our energy that way and continue to sell it out, especially with how much thought is put behind the branding, the packaging and everything. Me, I don't know, the older I get, like mad props to brands like Typology or Rare Beauty that really put thought into the packaging, the way that the product is, is, is held, how they ship the products, the ingredients in the products. It's so refreshing that we're thinking about those things, that we're asking those questions, you know, and that we're making products user-friendly, whether it's because we don't have skincare knowledge or we have a disability that we need our packaging to be shaped in a certain way to help us and allow us to also enjoy the power of makeup, you know? So anyway, props to that. A brand that I've been a fan of since it was exclusively on Amazon is House Labs. Well, now they are at Sephora and the lip oils, I have convinced every single mom in all my mom groups to get it. Like they've all bit, gotten bitten by the house labs bug, the lip oil bug in particular. In fact, there is a Sephora grand opening happening soon. It'll probably already have happened when you see this video. And I have my hopes that I'm gonna find the orange shade there in stock and not have to wait for it to ship to my house. So fingers crossed. Send me good juju, you guys. Send me, send me good juju. So if you're looking for a lip oil, this is a really great one because it leaves a really beautiful tint. You don't need a lip liner. I use it as a lip color when I do my makeup and once the oil comes off, 
the color that it leaves behind is stunning. So I have primary and tint. You have like a berry and then a raspberry. Two more lip products and I have three colors of, of it, but I mean, it's the formula. So do not feel pressured or bullied into getting all three. The Buxom Collagen Infused Lip Serums. I'm wearing uh, Dolly Babe today and I feel like I'm, I'm overdue for a reapplication here. I don't know what it is about lip serums and uh, lip oils that they just, they are my love language at the moment. Well, rather for the last few years. After the craze of the matte lips, like the liquid matte lips, you remember that? I got so fed up with it. I was like, dude, enough is enough. Yeah, I said, dude. I was like, enough is enough, man. Okay, we like matte full coverage foundations. Yeah, we like matte lips. Like, when when are we gonna talk about glowy skin, cream blushes, that dewy look? Like, bring it back, man. I can't play in the sandbox with all these youngins that have like the natural face oils on their skin still, you know? I'm, I'm layering it on thick just to give you a, a color sample. <laughs> Not because you need to apply that much, but you can tell the texture. It's not sticky. It's like a, a tinted gel. If you do not like minty lip products, it is very minty. So that is going to encourage some blood flow to your lips and make your lips look plumper and juicier. So the ones that I have on my hand from top to bottom are uh, Plush Peach, Dolly Babe, and Plum Power. They are so good, you guys, so comfortable, and they actually wear off really nicely. You know how some products like do not wear off gracefully and they leave like a little rim or crustiness or yuckiness, like mm, these are so good. I wonder if they have a clear one because if they do have a clear one, it will completely replace this favorite, which I have recommended to you guys, but it is so hard to find. And this is my last favorite. The Makeup Revolution Lip Care Serum. It's the Rehab Lip Mask. This is a product I have on my bedside table. So after I slather my face with my favorite Big Daddy over here, I go to bed, I get in my nightstand. Well, I don't get in my night, I get this from my nightstand. And it's just, I can't find it anymore. I got mine at Target. And I've seen it at Ulta, but when I try to link it for you guys online, I can't find it. So I'm gonna try my best to find out what happened. Maybe it got discontinued. And if it did, maybe there's a clear alternative to this one because it definitely has like serum vibes, like lip mask vibes. It doesn't feel like Laneige or like the Hannah Lay mask that I've recommended or the Juice Beauty, no, was it Juice? Who had the agave bite, the agave lip mask? It doesn't feel like a mask. Like it's on there, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna wipe it off, and your lips are gonna be a mate. No, it feels like like you're putting on a very thin jelly Vaseline. I mean, it's lightweight, super lightweight, very comfortable. I forget that I'm wearing it and it doesn't get on my teeth. That's all I got to say about that. All right, you guys, that is it for my monthly favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I also hope that you're going to take four minutes out of your day to take Typology's skin diagnostic test or quiz and tell me what your prescription is. I would love, you know what? I'm 5%. So I would love to find out if any of you are in the same like category as I am. I will make sure to list and link all of these products down below. Do not hesitate if you are someone that has been wanting to simplify your skincare routine. Do not hesitate because you can get a full size, full size rose hip face scrub to add to your routine. Heck, you only have to do it like once a week. So it's not like it's giving you extra chores. And if it makes your skin look amazing, why not? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, all the information will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.